hello so apologies if i keep looking away from the camera but um there's notes <laughs> lots so interoception so what is interoception um the interoception system provides us with awareness of internal body states it receives information from sensory neurons in our internal organs and passes on information about body states and emotions such as you've got body states and emotion states. So body states are toileting needs, thirst, hunger, pain, fatigue. Um, emotion states are anxiety, anger, irritability, fear, sadness, excitement and joy. So people with poor interoception struggle with hydration so don't realize they're thirsty um, they don't drink which, le which leads to dehydration headaches and digestive issues temperature regulation uh, people can't perceive or respond to changes in body temperature um, i.e coldness or overheating uh, increasing the risks of frostbite or overheating uh, nutrition uh, with weak hunger skills people may miss meals um, only realising they're hungry when the blood sugar levels crash or like later in the evening they'll binge eat um, which leads to an imbalanced diet and malnutrition um, pain and injury awareness uh, weak pain signals resulting in reduced pain may leave, lead, sorry, lead to delays in seeking medical treatment for an injury uh, the risks associated with these are undetective chronic illnesses, appendix pain, the back to burst that you just don't realise, broken bones, unintended cuts. Uh, so self-regulation and emotional regulation are affected also. So examples, self-regulation. Um, if you feel the sensation of your stomach grumbling, your muscles are tightening, so you recognise this as hunger. You take action and eat food, discomfort goes. Or emotional regulation, uh, you feel shaky, tight chest, breathless, fast heartbeat, you recognise this as anxiety. You act upon this by stimming, using sensory coping strategies, breathing exercises, and the anxiety is reduced. So without proper interoception, everything goes to pot <laughs> because we can't control and regulate ourselves. Um, so this leads us on to the classic five senses that everybody knows about. So tactile, which is touch, auditory, which is hearing, visual, seeing, gustatory, uh, taste, and olfactory, which is smell. But we actually have eight senses. So the sixth is vestibular. So vestibular responses are located in the ear and process balance and movement, helping us to distinguish between speed and direction of movement. Um, our posture depends on these signals. Uh, seventh is uh, proprioception. Uh, we have receptors in our muscles and joints that provide information about where our bodies are in space. So we sat, stood, lying down, moving, etc. Uh, this also tells us if we're applying the right amount of pressure to shut the door, pick something up, um, interoception, recognising the urge to go to the toilet, uh, if you're hungry, temperature, anxiety, pain, sadness, joy. Uh, there are exercises that can help with interoception. One of these comes from Kelly Muller's book, The Eighth Sensory System. So these exercises provide informal biofeedback which means you can see results without the aid uh, of uh, fancy equipment. Um, so one is do an activity that increases, increases your heart rate for about 30 seconds. Of the star jumps, running on the spot, running up and down the stairs, skipping, whatever. Um, take note of your heartbeat. You will feel it. Um, <clears throat> then try and see how, uh, see how low you can get your heart rate. By simple breathing exercises, just sitting still and breathing deeply. Um, and you do, you, you feel your heartbeat. You can actually physically feel your heart rate going down. 
Another one, simple one, is to hold a cup of um, hot or cold drink. Take the time to feel the sensation of how it feels, like the, the, the circumference of the cup, how heavy it is, how cold it is, how hot it is. Um, and then put the drink down and then feel that sensation of, oh, there's nothing in my hand. Um, these exercises are designed to realign your interoception. Although, if your interoception isn't at its best, then you're kind of pretty much stuck with it. <laughs> um, so mindfulness will help a lot. But it's an ongoing process that you will have to put effort into. Um, not much help really trying to sort it out, but the more mindful you can be, um, the more help it will be. Um, set timers during the day to remind you to eat, to remind you to drink. Um, you know, sometimes I will be sat at home, I'll lock on my day off, whatever, and I will be drawing and drawing and for hours on end and then I'll be getting bad headaches or my stomach will be really hurting and I'll be thinking, oh, I'm not feeling very well, what's the matter with me? And my other half will say, have you eaten today? Mm, yeah, um, with autism and ADHD, a lot of um, neurodiverse uh, things we do suffer really badly with this so um yeah i hope that was helpful and thank you for